the Speed Gaming channel on Twitch. We have another Super Metroid item randomizer match tonight. We have CFB versus Dread 4170. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone's excited. I hope you're all ready because uh, this should be a good one. And yeah, good luck to both runners. Looks like neither of our runners here choosing to do the Oats Fall down the Criteria Shaft here. <clears throat> Just gonna head straight down to the first item. Yeah, CFB uh, getting that pitless and uh, doing <laughs> having a little trouble there getting over to the Morph Ball. <laughs> he just needs to grab it and then uh, be on their way. Again, there's two major items here in the Blue Brinstar area. They're going to be moving to the right. About two rooms over, uh, there's going to be one in the ceiling there. All the major items and the E-Tanks are randomized. So before uh, CFB gets there, he's going to check this ma minor item. It's an E-Tank. You know, who would have guessed? I think there's a significant portion of people here who would not have guessed that would be an E tank there in the ceiling. Missiles early. A lot of missiles, no early power bombs or supers. Yeah, look, uh, I think both of them did the ceiling E tank first try, which is good because uh, I see a lot of runners that just. Have a lot of difficulty trying to get it so you can definitely lose a lot of time you can be stuck there uh, if you don't get that damage boost well it's not a damage boost per se but you're trying to damage yourself into that item but uh, we'll see if dread goes over to the left now he's gonna go straight up the elevator and um same for cfb so far so good um of course, these next two rooms are pretty difficult. Next three rooms, really, are pretty difficult to execute. So, how good both these runners are, we should be seeing some pretty good rooms. Skipping the um, uh, the mother brain item there. Uh, there's some bomb blocks right there in the old mother brain room. But, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes you just see that uh, a lot of players pick up a lot of minor items in the beginning. These guys, uh, they're, they're just going straight to the major item, uh, entering the parlor, and uh, I think they know that there's a lot on the line in this match because this is an elimination match. This is loser's bracket, round five, uh, win or go home. So, uh, and each of these matches are uh, two out of two out of three. So they got to win two games to move on. Oh, speed booster. Heck yeah, this is this is my favorite items again, really, honestly. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah. Um, you can go a long time without getting that speed booster, so uh, for sure, that's that's a great great find for for both of these guys. It's pretty evenly matched. What, what do you think? Um, oh, it looks like see if. Okay. Uh, yeah, evenly matched if see if he remembers his nice producer, <laughs> of course. That's also something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but these guys are neck and neck. Uh, that was really an interesting, it's interesting difference in Stratch there. Dread, like, jumping over that uh, energy tank, and then CFB just, like, waiting just to make sure, you know, <laughs> it's something he wanted. Yeah, CFB, he's always been of the uh, idea that less is more. So I imagine he'll be skipping anything that's not directly necessary uh, as we move on. <laughs> A little trouble with the elevator dread. He just wants to go into Brinstar. Um, but 
here in this green Brinstar area, there are quite a few minor items, and uh, these guys don't have a lot of ammo, no super missiles, no power bombs, so um, I'm just gonna have to do this the vanilla way. You see Dread just using that speed booster, putting it to good use, grabbing those power bombs. Uh, that's a good good thing to have, especially if uh, you want to, either of these players want any of the minor items over there uh, after, beyond the Brinstar Reserve tank. Looks like Dread forgot about the fact you actually need some sort of ammo to uh, get to the reserve tank. Yeah, he's going to do some farming. He's getting pretty unlucky with these drops. Uh, but it looks like CFB grabbing that super pack and then he's just going to go straight back in. Yeah, he uh, CFB decided just to go for Gusto here and go right away as soon as he, he, had, tried, he had some little trouble with the enemies there, but goes right back in, goes back out. It's taking some time over Dread here, who is a little more indecisive and try to farm them more exclusively. And now, uh, it's it's pretty funny to see people who aren't used to actually using Speed Booster on that bridge, which is the intended way of getting across that bridge. Kind of funny to see how that little like Zeb at the bottom there that spawns can kind of mess you up a little bit if you're not used to it. So, uh, despite having, ooh, very nice, uh, very nicely done there by CFB, getting the reverse mock ball out of the room, uh, despite getting morph ball and speed booster early on, uh, these guys haven't really found any other upgrades. They're just getting uh, energy tanks, which is good. Having three here in the beginning, uh, definitely nice, but nothing, uh, not a lot of progressive items for them. Another energy tank here at the bottom of uh, the Brinstar area. Well, this is, uh, I think if we, if this remains the same as getting a bunch of E-tanks, there's like some formula that, um, I mean, I, I haven't done the research personally, but I, I would trust Tessie to do his research correctly in terms of the statistical right choices here. I think if you have four energy tanks and speed booster it is statistically uh superior to go up to wreck ship and is the only circumstance in which it is statistically superior to do so in every other circumstance it's worse so maybe we'll see them go up yeah that that definitely be a good call um sometimes you know it doesn't pay off but <laughs> 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 nice little uh, up spark there for cfp uh, again, sometimes going up to the wreck ship doesn't pay off. We did see it earlier. Uh, one of the participants went to the wreck ship, and uh, um, in that in that sort of specific instance, he didn't have the speed booster, and uh, the various suit was. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> excuse me. We we're sort of in awe here of seeing yeah, no, just blowing yeah. those super missiles. <laughs> yeah, good. Sorry. Go ahead, JD. And uh, he's very well rewarded with uh, the charge beam being behind the uh, the wave gate. Um, but uh, yeah, so one of the participants uh, did not have the speed booster as he entered the wreck ship, and he went to the wreck ship early. So uh, behind the behind the speed blocks in the wreck ship reserve area uh, was the various suit, and <laughs> that proved to be. Uh, Proved to be the, the bad choice there in the, in that scene. Hey, yeah, we are uh, we are getting some pretty good items here. Screw attack, charge beam. He's, this is looking like even if they don't find anything in the wreck ship, like this is looking real good. Yeah, definitely. The one thing I, I will note is that CFB did in fact skip that missile at the uh, charge beam location. So he's already well on his way to just trying to skip everything he possibly can. Um, I imagine he'll probably still get supers, but for everything else, I, I, he'll probably skip it. And screw attack is an interesting item, especially if they choose to... Oh, wow. Well, uh, I guess what I was about to say, it doesn't make as much sense. So let's just skip what I was about to say. <laughs> All right. So what do you think? Do you, these runners go up to the wreck ship now that they have found Varia? I absolutely would think that's a terrible decision. They have Varia, and yeah, they might not find High Jump, but 
I don't know. I guess it, I mean, maybe, maybe it depends on how comfortable you are with your suit, sorry, your high jumpless lava dive. But even then, I still think it's, there's so many items going down that normally are very time consuming to get if you don't have Varia because of the heat runs and farming aspect. But with Varia, it's just, there's no way you pass it up in my opinion. Save <laughs> beam, break it and spin. Uh, and he, <laughs> he's just, yeah, he's just gonna skip that. He doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah. This, this is the classic CFB move, and uh, uh, I'll be honest, it has paid off for him because he's still in this tournament. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Take notes, gonna, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he is gonna he's gonna skip uh, as many of these items as he wants. So. They don't have grapple beam, um, so yeah, I, I, I was going to be really impressed if CFB uh, was going to go check X-ray early, but uh, they definitely can do it. I've seen, we, I saw Total earlier today, he just, he went and checked it, and it didn't pay off for him, there wasn't uh, a good item there for him, but uh, to be able to do that, um, I think is, is impressive. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those tricks that uh, are, are never required by the logic per se, but being able to do them, like doing the uh, pink Brinstar wave gate uh, without wave, is obviously a bonus. <clears throat> Space jump, screw attack. Like like if they can get into low norfair, this is going to be the freest low norfair of all time with space jump and screw attack and speed. Like this, this is already like shaping up to be really really easy. All they're missing is a couple more items. Really, all they need is gravity, and they're in go mode already. Technically, I guess, but might want <laughs> some more beams. Yeah, um, yeah. We haven't seen uh, many of these these players. Uh, I, I haven't seen them anyway. Them do, like fight any of the bosses using just the the charge beam. Excuse me, I hit the mic there, but um. Yeah, like just the charge beam or like just regular ice beam. Uh, I haven't really seen it. <laughs> CFB uh, having a little, uh, getting a little bump right into mini crate. I did a a low ice style mother brain fight. I don't remember if it was in a tournament match. I know I haven't done many randomizer matches outside of the tournament, so I think it might have been. I don't remember honestly, but it's pretty uncommon because mostly because of the beams aren't considered progression items except for ice. So, they can be placed anywhere, really. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> nice <laughs> reserve tank behind, uh, behind Kraid there. So, CFB just immediately taking off. I don't, I don't see a lot of players picking up reserve tanks like, this far into the tournament. Um, a lot of a lot of the runners are just cutting out any unnecessary items. So uh, you, you might think uh, you know a reserve is a nice thing to have, but uh, these guys they don't even bother with it. Yeah, it's it's pretty like I guess seven seconds for an item is about the average room time for a lot of these rooms. So you think about it, you skip an item, you're an automatically a room ahead. It's pretty considerable, honestly. Yeah, CFB building on his lead, uh, and he, he didn't even pick up that item, and uh, oh, well, he's thinking about just, something. Yeah, uh, he went down. I agree with this still, for sure. I, I know he's thinking about the Hydra plus Lava Dive. I know he's thinking about that. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely something uh, you should worry about if you're not entirely confident about it i mean i don't know if any runners are <laughs> entirely confident about the high jumps list of lava dive i mean everyone like i've seen zos do it and like uh a lot of good runners do it but there's, st there's still just the chance you mess it up and then you know like you have like to reset close, the console yeah. go ahead We lost Fuzda. <laughs> In any case, Dread 
finally coming into the Norfair area. Uh, CFB just got a, himself uh, another energy tank. And uh, you're going to be checking this ice ice beam item location. Hello, am I back? Yep. Oh, okay, sorry. I don't know what that was. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Oh, CFB sparking into this room just because why not? Oh, okay. Yeah, so again, he tanks both uh, item locations here in the business center. That might be an indication that CFP has no intention to do high jump plus lava dive. Because if you did, you would probably pick up every single E tank you could along the way, right? Right. Yeah, Just I think so. Like, like one extra E tank gives you essentially like another, what, like three quarters of an attempt, I guess? Something like that. Yeah, that's that's a good observation. He probably he's probably not feeling it uh, if he has to do it. But uh, I I like this call here. He just going to the Krakomire area. We've seen some pretty good items be here at the Krakomire locations, so uh, we'll find out. But it looks like Dread uh, picking up those E tanks, so he is probably committed to. Uh, Finishing off the Norfair area. <laughs> a little, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little surprise there from Krogamar, just sort of faking out CFP. I love that fake out. It's, it's my favorite. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Okay, oh, okay, see Dread. CFP. Hello. We see oh, Dread. He's, he's going, going down. down too. Uh, he's going to grab these power bombs. Uh, which is also a nice thing to have, but Krakomire, I'm telling you, this guy, he's always hiding the goods. Yeah, this is it. This is go mode. If CFE doesn't skip everything from here on out, he will hear no end of me making fun of him. Because he is known for saying, quite exclusively, to just go once you're in go mode and don't bother anything. This is a good race. Dude, Dread is right behind him, and, uh, man, what a call. Like... They have the screw attack, they have speed booster. I mean, I would love to have a high jump in this situation, maybe even like the plasma beam, but um, if they are able to pick up some more supers, well, that's a good that's, that's a, a good point to make here. Dread has 25 supers and they're gonna go into lower nerf air. So as far as ammo is concerned, Dread has like an advantage. But um, CFB is still in the lead, having skipped uh, a lot of the uh, the other item pickups. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. It's it's going to be close. Potentially, the most pertinent one that he skipped so far is that power bomb pack below ice beam. That could play a major difference, as power bomb packs are roughly um, three times as rare as their missile or super missile counterparts. So we'll see. Yeah, can. So, can CFB, can he, if he keeps, if he holds on to all five of these power bombs, can he make it into to, uh, to Ridley's lair? Like, oh yeah, he should yeah. be able to. He has speed boosters, so he won't, he won't, and speed booster and screw attacks, he won't need to use power bombs on most of the blocks, right? He'll just do, uh, you know, it just takes four if you have a speed booster and or screw attack. Gotcha. Um, because you can do, you can screw attack the pillars, and you can, uh, screw attack... If you have screw attack and space room, you can screw attack the blocks and worst room in the game. Oh boy. So, we see Dread. He is going up. It looks like he's going to go into Bubble Mountain oh. and uh, check some major items. See if we don't use your last. Oh my god. Oh my god. He did if save. He... So. He did save, but if he'd used his last super and not gotten the green gate glitch and then tried to go down to Metal Pirates and Ridley, he would have been sorely disappointed and had to been reliant on drops from either the key hunters or um a missile a super missile pack as it is since he got that he can actually um get some super missile drops from these, from these rippers yeah these rippers yeah but that was a questionable decision in my eyes i'm glad it paid off though that that green gate it's so some days it's very whimsical it just doesn't 
doesn't cooperate with you. Okay, so Dread, he's coming up on the North Air Reserve. I'm gonna check it. It's just an energy tank. Uh, and that's that's bad news for him, because CFB, he's farming up these supers. And um, he's he's in the lower North Air area, and he's still sort of maintaining this this lead over Dread right now. Um, this is, this is definitely problematic for Dread though, right? Because the only items that would be beneficial for him right here are Plasma or Ice. If he doesn't find either one of those things, CFP is already making up a considerable amount of time over him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> CFP getting, uh, getting stuck in those pillars. But, uh, yeah. Not, not having too much problems. He's in the worst room in the game. And uh, it's no problem at all. If you have the space jump and the, uh, hey, what, what, what is that item right there on Dread's screen? Uh, I am honor bound, duty bound to call that the meme ball. And uh, you know what? For all, all the wonderful things that it does, it does live up to that name. So Dread gets meme ball. We'll see if it puts any, any use, but Unfortunately, might be a bit too late as these are not the items that he needs to make up time against CFB. These are not the major items you are looking for. Oh, and CFB <laughs> again the high jump boots. Uh, it's not hey, it's not a beam upgrade, but I'll take that. <laughs> high jump boots is so good. I'm telling you, when you don't have it and you have only the speed boost, only the speed booster, like you just you just don't know how much you miss it. If you want to know how much you miss it, I think there's actually a, a the White Mage Becky versus Oats game one, I think, where uh, they were both in Turian. Oats had high jump, Becky had speed booster. Uh, I mean, say what you want. It's pretty hard to do some of the escape rooms without high jump and with speed. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, yeah, looks like CFB is gonna check over here. Uh, I think he has to take this out. Yeah, he has to take it no matter what it is because he only has just the charge beam and they're dread checking the wave beam item and it's just another energy tank. So he is probably just gonna have to beeline it straight to lower north air. And um, yeah, that's that's putting him behind because CFB, he's already uh, about to fight Ridley. Doing this nice little shine spark strat, taking out these metal pirates, the speed echoes. Dread still does have 20 power bombs. If CFB doesn't find ice, that's a huge time loss for him looking around for other power bomb packs or just not getting them and just relieving Turian to kill the Metroids. Um, that's not a small time loss at all. So, as far behind as Dread looks, there's still plenty of opportunity for him to catch up. A uh, little mishap there with the eye door. Uh, let's see if be wasting a couple of supers. Nice use of the screw tag right there just to farm these bugs up. Uh, he doesn't want health, he wants a super missile. There it is, and uh, he's just full on everything, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's still going. Yeah. He's, okay, well, I'm sure he has some reasoning for why he's doing this. That's all right. Okay, so with the ammo he has, um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out uh, how many of these charge shots he needs to use. I mean, he can use the power bombs as well. But, he needs uh, to do 150 minimum because he's missing 20. So let's see, five, uh, 200. He's missing a thousand damage if he double hits all his power bombs on the second phase and hits all of his ammo. So it's a thousand, uh, I don't know. I can't do math. Math on the stream is a bad idea, right? A thousand divided by 60, or whoever wants to answer that. So 150 plus whatever that remainder is. This is actually going to be a pretty long fight. Yeah, this is no gimme. Like, now that... Oh, he's... Uh, 
He's used his supers! What is he doing? Oh no, he has to deal with the harder part of Ridley! Yeah. I just noticed that. Yes, that is uh... <laughs> this, is, this is absolutely <laughs> gonna be hard, much harder for him. Now oh. that, that no, Ridley is enraged. Okay, this- And he's missing these shots that, like, this is not good. This is really, really bad. Um, for those of you who don't know, Ridley actually has, um, uh, one, two, three... Oh, okay. <laughs> Ridley has finally been defeated. Uh, CFB took quite a bit of damage. It's kind of a scare there. But um, yeah, uh, in uh, in contrast, uh, nice little reserve tank right there. In contrast, Dread, he's going to come into this Ridley fight with uh, 25 supers, or excuse me, 30 supers. And uh, he's going he's gonna to catch up a little bit to CFB, I think. Ooh, okay, Dread. Uh, <laughs> they're they're in the same room, but Dread is having a little difficulty here, trying to spark the pirates. Uh, and the, the biggest reason that you use the shine spark on these pirates is so that you can serve the super uh, the super missile count that you have. That ammo is like, you know, to, to reduce the amount of farming you have to do before you go into Ridley is always you know important. Okay, so. CFB did, in fact, speedball out of here, which means he will have the correct amount of ammo to get out of here, thankfully. Yeah, there are other areas where uh, you can get more power bombs because he does he has, well, I mean, he has screw attack, so <laughs> uh, uh, he doesn't even have to worry about the, the lower Norfair escape, so. Yeah, he's in a good spot. He's in a good spot. Um, yeah, I wonder what else he's going to check because uh, again he does need more power bombs if he wants to power bomb these metroids or uh, just going to have to go explore a bit to find the, uh, the ice beam yeah I, I there you go I thought he might check some minor items and that's probably it honestly I, I would expect him to check only minor items from now on and maybe like uh, I mean obviously he'll see bot wound and maybe space jump I don't expect him to check many more items than that. Yeah, I think um, if he if he comes uh, if he discovers any other like super packs, I think he's just gonna go ahead and pick those up if he doesn't find any other beam upgrades because that's gonna help speed up that mother brain fight. And we don't even see him going to the wave beam item. He's he's moving along. Pretty good Ridley fight from Dread there. A lot faster than CFP. Definitely made up some time there, but since CFP has skipped all of these um, uh, Bubble Mountain items, he's <laughs> more than made up for that, for sure. Especially considering that we know it's uh, nothing important that he'll, he'll be missing. Yeah, nah, no kidding. Ooh, okay. I think this is a really good decision here. So CFB, he, he's going up here. Uh, he looks like he's lost. <laughs> but uh, I think he, he wanted to check uh, these, two, these two minor items right there. And uh, you see some supers right there uh, at the crab supers. So I think he might go and grab those. Uh, a bit? Uh, nope, he's well, just going to skip them. <laughs> uh, All right. Perhaps uh, he was looking for for power bombs again. 
Yeah. I mean, that has to be the only thing he's looking for, right? Because that, <laughs> otherwise he would get those supers. Might be worth checking Aqueduct items here? I'm not sure. It's a pretty fast check for two items. Oh, he's... Okay, he's actually going to check this? Really? Out of all the... Oh. <laughs> yeah. And CFB it's, giving us a run for the money. What is happening? Yeah, he's, he's definitely... Like... Uh, you could see it in the gameplay. Oh, hello, I think he wanted those. <laughs> yeah, he was a little too, uh, it was a little too clean of a jump. So yeah. he, just, he was just trying to jump over the pedestal, but uh, he ended up uh, skipping the supers. But um, yeah, I think you can see the, the thought process. Like um, he's sort of conflicted on what he wants to check because um, yeah, so, so he's he's opted to skip like these bubble mountain items and then. Yeah, he was sort of mulling it over uh, on the, the left sand pit there. And we know he, he was about to think about it because uh, if you make a save there at the aqueduct, like um, what you do is you check the left sand pit and uh, if it's not anything you want, you just reset and it puts you back. Uh, you don't have to do that, all that backtracking. Oh, you know what? He might have actually been thinking about saving for bot wound in case he might have soft. Oh, he has charge. I don't. Nope. No, I just. I don't get it. I don't get anything. <laughs> I got nothing. That's all right. CFB, our boy, has destroyed bot wound. The snake, for once and all. An e tank. Not gonna pick that up. He looks will like he yeah. farm. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna get uh, a little bit of ammo. Stuck in the sand there and doing a the little screw attack action. Um, but, um, let's see. Uh, doesn't get the, the full half. He looks like he was having trouble with the, uh, the wall jumps. But, uh, he will settle for a halfy. Not even the down grab halfy. That's alright, CP. Was that, wait, was that an E tank? I missed it. It must have been. In it Lava out. Turtle? Yes, it was an energy tank. And a power bomb. Yo, oh. Yeah, yeah. He he wants that. <laughs> I think he he knows he's getting close to the end of the game, and uh, these metroids are coming up. I mean, what else is he gonna check here, right? Maybe space jump and may and like all the moat item. Is that about it? Like everything else is gone from now on. I w I uh, I would say like after Fantoon, I would. Since it's on the way out, I would check uh, the right side supers. All right, but it seems yeah. reasonable. Uh, again, these item checks—they <laughs> can take up, they can take quite a while. Uh, and uh, Dread, you know, he's not—he's not too far behind. Looks like CFB uh, missed his initial uh, shine part, shine spark uh, setup. He's gonna get gooped right there. <laughs> Red's on his tail, he's not far behind. This might come down to whether or not CFE gets those two powerbomb drops, or another powerbomb pack. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, this is very interesting, and uh, uh, it's, it's a really ex exciting match. Dread gets this terrible bomb wound pattern, I'd hate that pattern. And just an, uh, another energy tank behind Dragon. Interesting that see if he didn't get those drops. Where is he going? He's getting the energy tank. Okay, he didn't get the Dragon drops. He's going to Fantoon next. He only has one missile. This will be a pretty difficult Fantoon to do quickly without more missiles. So we'll see how he feels about that. So why why would CFB pick up that energy tank? Do you, do you have any idea? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're you're just as good as mine, yeah, I got nothing. Same. Ooh, okay. there we go. So Dread, uh, you know, don't cut him out. He's he's trying to keep up with CFB here, and getting that, that full half E is definitely going to help him. If he has a good Dragon fight, um, 
Yeah, definitely. That's also going to catch him up a little bit. Uh, see if, uh, Dresden made, made up a lot of time against CFB's indecision in Meridia so far. He didn't hesitate whatsoever, went directly to the Aqueduct items, and cleaned up Bogun pretty quickly. So, if this Dragon fight goes well, you can see a closing of the gap even more. Ooh, okay, dang. <laughs> both both of these players uh, missing their, their Shine Spark setup. And Dragon not giving any quarter either. Just swoop, swoop, man. Yeah, swoop city. <laughs> Dragon does what she does best. So yeah, uh, man, this is really unfortunate for Dread. He's he could have caught up if he had a, like a really clean Dragon fight here, but uh, again, just getting some bad luck and uh, still trying to finish off this boss. Wow, yeah, this is. Didn't he have like close to full health entering here, or right? Uh, yeah, I want to say he picked up uh, one of the energy tanks before coming into Dragon. So. Oh my, I, there's no way you see if he skips that power bomb pack. He's got to get on the way back. Yeah, uh, I think if he doesn't find... Yeah, we'll see what he does. Um, if he checks the one major item here... Uh, that's a gamble for ice, right, though? Like, and that's, yeah. a, that's a free power... I, mean, I don't know. Maybe? Uh, I don't think so, though. It would be nice to have the ice beam, because... Um, Again, they, these guys only have the charge beam. <laughs> they don't have any other beam upgrades. It's kind of, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of rough to fight Mother Brain too with just the charge beams and give you all some perspective. Me and Fusa have done this: three hundred charge shots against Mother Brain. If you don't have any beam upgrades, just the charge beam. It's a long fight. That so, sounds fun, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. CFBs. Uh, his ammo. Not looking great here. Holy moly, someone called that the Elminster. <laughs> Fighting Mother Brain. 300 shots. Uh, I've never heard that, but uh, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this... this is... This, it's going exactly as you predicted, Fuzo. <laughs> He doesn't have the missiles. He doesn't and, have. Uh, yeah, this Fantoon fight is just gonna go pretty slow for him. Okay, he got some missiles there, but you know we'll see what dread, how dread fares having all that extra ammo on him. Oh man, this is gonna be a four-round Fantoon, isn't it? Ooh, okay, very nicely done. Takes care of it. Yeah, I mean, uh, considering what he entered with, that was not a terrible fight, I suppose. <laughs> not bad at all. And we'll see if he chooses to check. I mean, I, I assume there's no way he's not going to refill the, chi uh, the ship. So he just wants to get out of there as soon as possible. Yeah, actually, that's really... It's really interesting. He didn't even bother with the drops. I would think if you're not gonna stop at the ship, you would get some of those drops. But uh, he's not gonna do it, and he's skipping the major item. So I think he's gonna do exactly as you say, Fuzda. He is at your command. He's gonna grab these power bombs. He has to if he wants to go through these Metroids in, you know, without having going to go back to the ship. I mean, he could be feeling really lucky, but that seems. Uh... A little foolhardy, even for CFB. Let's see it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. What is... What is he thinking? Oh, man, I hope he gets punished for that. <laughs> <laughs> Full steam ahead. CFB does not care. And uh, he's going to stop at the ship. He is going against... Um, uh, he's going against all the rules of the universe. I don't know. I, I just don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not terribly unlikely to get two power bomb drops from the Metroids, but uh, 
it's just the gamble that if he doesn't, he's risking, you know, losing seven seconds against losing what, like two minutes, three minutes. So, I, I guess if he wants that seven seconds that badly, go ahead. But dang. So, uh, to, to let everyone know, you can get power bomb drops from these Metroids, but it's it's uh, it's extremely uncommon. I don't even know what the percentages are. Do you know? If it's not? But I believe it's 12% from each Metroid oh, okay. to drop as a power bomb. So he can do the first three Metroid rooms, but he needs two power bomb drops, two, to do the fourth one. Because um, yeah, <laughs> it's 10. You need 12 for all four Metroid rooms. And Dread's gonna be done with his fan tune by the time he gets to room three. So. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Let's see. He's 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 bending it all. He's taking a lot of damage here too. This um, it's not not a good look. Uh, no drop here. You started getting nervous right here. Let me know if you're CFB. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh yeah, you see, you can see, he's very worried, he doesn't want to take too much damage. Oh, Still no drop! No drops, <laughs> he, he needs to get super lucky, right here. Oh my god. He needs two power bomb drops, does he get it? He does not. He doesn't get any power bomb drops. He has to go back. Uh, there are a couple uh, alternatives here. We see Dread. He's gonna check this item over here. If it's the ice beam, um, I don't know. Does that catch him up? This is this is this is crazy. This Even is crazy. if it's not the ice beam, he could have just gone straight to Turi, and he still would have. Hello. We see the X-ray scope. Not gonna pick it up. <laughs> That's not a beam upgrade. See you later. Like, depending on if he goes back to the ship or tries to farm the Kagos, depending on the Kagos' luck, Dread could literally be right with him right here. This could be really, really... I don't know. Uh... This is, yeah. Uh... CP tried to save seven seconds, and his result is going to lose two minutes. I think... I think they're going to get that get to the ship at the same time, because... Ooh, okay. This could... Um... Again, CP, he, he has to rely on these drops. Uh, he's gonna oh. get a lot of health here. I, I don't know if this is the right play. <laughs> oh, he got him! He got him! He got- oh my gosh! He got this- <laughs> how is that possible? Only CFB. He doesn't have to go back to the ship. Dread Two ice. drops from one Kago, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> rare to get like one drop from a Kago. Like, it's not unheard of, but it's I like- do. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm it's flabbergasted. Like, it's like a third chance, I think, or like 40%? I don't know, it's pretty low to get one drop from a Kago. You get two. <laughs> I don't okay. know, man. We saw we saw Dread save. Um, yeah, I think both of these runners are getting pretty Oh nervous. no, he's still going up. Dread wants the ice beam, dude. Yeah, again, uh, we don't know. It could prove to be the difference, but he has to check. He wants to check this major item over here. At this yes. point, I don't think ice is even that helpful. I think the only thing that could potentially save him time over CFB here is plasma. That's it. Okay, let's see it. It's oh. the gravel. <laughs> it's <laughs> not the beam we are looking for. Holy cow! Can you believe that? The grapple beam <laughs> and the X-ray scope. Those two major items along the way. CFB is in. He is going to skip this baby, maybe. Who knows? Um, wow, Dread. Yeah, checking. Oh, and this is okay. <laughs> Dread. He's trying. He he wants this ammo again. These runners, they're they have to be nervous about this mother brain two fight that is coming up because they just have the charge beam. They don't have anything else. Yeah, I, these are both very good runners. I know they're both very, very good. Um, I'm not sure how familiar uh, Dread is with the low percent fight. Um, this could be he could be out of his element here, which is why he's looking for so many different items. So, unfortunately, see if he misses the Metroid skip. But at this yeah. point, there's not a whole lot that Dread can do to catch up this much time. Yeah, Apart CFB. from CFB dying, that's that's about it, right? 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it looks like CFB, he was not even going to bother with that Metroid skip. He was taking damage before it. Um, kind of a questionable decision, but uh, it looks like uh, he wanted that energy recharge anyway so he's gonna have to, he was gonna have to go into this room so um not not a bad call i would uh use missiles on these doors uh i don't know um i would do a lot of things differently but cfb is the one with the lead right now and he's gonna be the first one to take on mother brain um so long as he as he's able to get this uh this short charge yeah, those those three supers that he used in the doors will cost him 15 extra shots. So it might be the right choice time-wise, but it... I don't know, maybe 15 seconds? I mean, he, he could have opened the first door for sure. That was something he probably should have done. That would have saved him some time, but not a big deal. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I will say... I was watching him earlier uh, this afternoon, and he was having trouble with these taps. Um, so this this could be... Oh, okay. Oh. Just as I say it, um, CFB is through. He has gotten the Zeb skip. And um, yeah, that, that could have been like a, a big cho choke point right there. This is... This is fine. <laughs> this is... <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're rooting for CMB, fingers crossed, because he didn't save, he's full YOLO, he's going in, going he's down got, to 15 supers, he's doing the right thing here. He's uh, got 160 shots. 160 shots to go before he uses the last of his rest of his supers. So, hope you guys are he settled in. Yeah. Uh, and he has to keep him keep himself above 300 health. 300 energy cannot go go below that. And uh, we see Dread. He is getting grabbed by the Metroid. Um, soon he will also be taking on Mother Brain too. If, if CFP dies here, uh, Dread can swoop in and steal this first game. It's been a, a crazy seed. It's been a roller coaster for sure. Dread, for all of his extra ammo, will not have that much easier of a fight than CFB does. He'll. Let's see, he's. 30 extra, so oh, he has 30, 35 extra. So what, that's an extra 60 shots he doesn't have to do, something like that? 57 shots? So he'll do 103 shots? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, another thing to consider is Dread has a a lot more health, so he's he's gonna be <laughs> he's gonna be a little more comfortable taking some of these hits than um, uh, from Mother Brain. He also gets the speed booster skip. Took him about two tries, so slowly getting there. This oh, uh, I'm not sure. I think we're about. I don't know. I wasn't counting. I'm gonna say we're at like 80 right now for CFB. So this is still eminently doable for Dre he has to stop using missiles. He needs this is wasting. Okay, well it's it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess it's fine either way. I just would prefer the other way. It's fine. Ooh, he's using all those supers. Um he, hopefully he's comfortable with this catch-up phase, because uh, the longer the catch-up phase goes on, uh, you know, sooner or later, sometimes you just get hit, so... Yeah, uh, well, maybe he's more... Like, catch-up is definitely easier, in my opinion, to dodge. It's just that the price of failure is much higher 
then right. the other phase. So he'll be getting For to sure. the catch-up phase a lot more quickly than CFB, but CFB's catch-up phase will actually be faster since he'll obviously be able to use the super as soon as he gets there. Yeah, so just to clarify, when we were talking about catch up, oh. there it is for CFB. Um, ooh, ooh, he missed Whoa. the super. How okay. many shots? That's five shots extra. Okay, he should be oh, good. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow, the ammo difference. See, see, Dread is already caught up. But, uh, yeah, he doesn't have those supers. Oh, man, CFB. Holding on to the lead against all odds, he needed those super. Uh, he needed those supers. He needed those power bombs. Just what? It, roller coaster. Absolutely, you described it perfectly, Fuzzy. Uh, yeah. It was a roller coaster. Uh, it goes to show that, like, despite like collecting more items, not collecting more items, it doesn't really matter. It kind of just comes down to number one execution. And like s different routes and different strategies can have the same kind of general end time, really. Like having more items helped Dread go more quickly, but um, if you just skip the items, you save that time anyway. It's 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 a tough trade off sometimes. That really shows it doesn't matter as much as your execution. Dread's already taken. Two hits. He's Dread's not missing. Hitting. He's yeah. not even hitting the head. <laughs> he needs. Like, neither of these runners know where the other one is. So, uh, again, just a little mental error right there. I, I, but I, I don't think I can blame him. This fight is so long. It's a test of endurance. Like, sometimes you zone out, uh, especially with, like, how much energy he has. He can be very. Uh, very, very lackadaisical, lackadaisical with it. Yeah, he, so, he's yeah. already been hit three times, uh, and hopefully he realizes that's that's Rainbow, and he has to damage himself down. Okay, good. So, um, no beam upgrades. Honestly, if you told me that you didn't have any beams and you finished like these randomizer seeds under an hour, uh, I would have been like, there's no way. <laughs> so it's very impressive. Um, they did get speed booster early, but um, again, CFB just, he just pulled out, he's trying to pull off all the stops right here. He needs <laughs> to do a shine spark. Um, but yeah, he uh, he skipped a lot of items. He only went in with ten power bombs, which was just uh, incredible to see. Honestly, uh, I've never seen such a, a YOLO uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, s sort of strategy, the way of thinking. But uh, that's why he's in the t he's still progressing in this tournament, and I am not. And he is going to be moving on uh, to win his first game. So again, these matches are two out of three, and uh, we have the next two games lined up right after this, so don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, I really want to ask CFB if that was honestly intentional to skip that third power bomb pack, or if he just forgot he needed minimum 12 to finish them all. I don't know, because... There it is, CFB finishing first place with a time of 53, 30 seconds. And right after he got done, he says, I am an idiot. Quote that CFB. And uh, he's, despite despite being an idiot, he is the winner of game one. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying this match. It's pretty good. So not to take anything away from Dread, he played a good match. Um, it definitely looked like he could have caught up to CFB 
uh, if you had some cleaner boss fights, if you didn't check some of the major items. But uh, that is going to be proving, uh, that's going to prove to be his downfall in this game. So we'll see uh, if he can regroup and uh, step it up in game two. Because CFB, like, uh, he, I, I think CFB just played that the right way, except for not having that extra power bomb pack. So, uh, yeah, he, he's you're gonna have to play a little bit better than that to take down CFB. I think is the message here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, and Dread has dot done in the SRL Reach channel the <clears throat> first time of 55 minutes and 13 seconds. Not bad. A little bit more than a minute behind CFB. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. Like if if Dread finds the plasma beam uh right after Fantoon, that that could have given him the lead for sure. Like you find plasma, you find ice beam, he's in there. But man, uh just really unfortunate. That's just sort of the way that randomizer goes sometimes. And uh CFB, he just sort of locked in wasn't caring about any of the other major items that just went for it and uh that's gonna give him the win for the first game Anyway, just to give you all a little update before we start the second game, uh, we'll give you update on the brackets. So the winner of this match, this is losers round five. Uh, the winner of this gets to take on Stravaris in round six. Other matches that are happening, we have Wild Anaconda 69 going up against White Mage Becky in uh, losers round six, and Southern Kick. Southern Kip, excuse me, uh, will be taking on Quickie Mart. That's also a round, losers round six matchup, and that match is actually happening tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Plenty of Super Metroid item randomizer coming your way, so stick around. We're coming back for game two. Also, to let you all know, you are watching the Speed Gaming channel on Twitch. If you go to speedgaming.org, uh, there are links there, uh, an event page, a schedule page, all sorts of information about what's upcoming and ongoing on the Speed Gaming channels. We have four of them, and we have this link to the past tournament that is happening right now. And it's just all of the time. <laughs> Plenty of speed gaming competition just happening, uh, and there's there's lots of other variety as well. So check it out if you want to. Again, my name is Just Defend. I was joined by Fuza. We're going to be sticking around for game two of CFB versus Dread. Yeah, there are no gimmies in this bracket. Uh, tomorrow, we have Galamaz taking on Fuzda, and that is in the winner's bracket. 
So we have a lot of really good players that are left in this tournament, and I assure you, uh, every match is going to be good. So don't miss it. All right, I think uh, the runner is about ready to start. They both readied up and the race will start in a moment.
first match was pretty interesting. It's pretty different from what we usually see. We usually see a lot of beams. Didn't see any beams last game, so... Uh, yeah, I was, I was actually really surprised by that. Um, but uh, I definitely enjoyed it. I think it makes it made the race a lot more interesting. So I was definitely on the edge of my seat. I hope that the same thing can be said about uh, this game coming up. Game two, Dread needs to win or he is eliminated from the Super Metroid on a randomizer tournament. So uh, if you want to see game three, 